Welcome to Lasea class. I am your teacher, Jan Lasea. Today, I will show to you my simple project, Student Test Checking System. I like to share my concepts, ideas, and personal experiences in the making of this project. This project is meant to be used by teachers as a tool in their profession. My simple project is aimed to expedite the laborious effort of checking tests or exam papers that I, your teacher, always do after the examination. The system would scan and check test papers answered by students by marking on the answer sheet using a computer software application that I made and an image scanner. The simple project is programmed in C Sharp programming language. Conceptual Framework The student test checking system needs two inputs, namely test papers and key answers. The inputs are processed by comparing the marked answers from the test papers to the key answers and totals the scores. Software Architecture Logical View the software architecture logical view is where the teachers prepare the test papers and conduct an examination. After the examination, the students' answer sheets are scanned by an image scanner device that the answer sheets are turned into images. The scanned images are then processed and checked by a computer. Software Architecture Physical View The Software Architecture Physical View is the technical details of components and structures that comprises the student test checking system. The transform answer sheets into scan images are processed by the Optical Character Recognition or OCR technology. The Optical Character Recognition or OCR reads the marked answers from the scan images and interprets the answers. The checker compares the interpreted answers with the key answers and totals the scores. I experimented two types of answer markings. One is black shading and the other is mark X and as well as the colors of the pen. The black shading has a higher OCR accuracy than Mark X. The black color contributes to high rate of OCR accuracy than blue and red colors of the pen. These are the findings that I found in my experiments. Number one. The OCR is not perfect to recognize the marked answers on the answer sheet. Next, black shading has a higher rate of OCR accuracy than mark X. 3. Black ink pen contributes to higher rate of OCR accuracy than blue-red ink pens and pencil. 4. Large font size contributes to high rate of OCR accuracy then small font size. The font size used in the answer sheet is 20 points. 5. When you save the scan image twice or more, it lowers the OCR accuracy. Finally, when you rotate the scan image counterclockwise, it lowers the OCR accuracy. This is an answer sheet and it has 20 items from 1 to 20. Every item has five circles that indicates the letters A, B, C, D, and E. The test is a multiple choice. This is another answer sheet that I answered by shading the circle with black color using a ball pen. 
At the back of the answer sheet is where I wrote my full name. This is another answer sheet that I answered by marking the circle with X using a black color ball pen. At the back of the answer sheet is where I wrote my full name. Let us run and test. The student test checking system is now activate and run in my computer. Let us open an answer sheet. I click the open button, browse the folder, scan test, and then select this scan answer sheet image file I click the image to text button to read the mark answers from the answer sheet the OCR failed to detect the 20 items marked with answers because the answer sheet is upside down let us rotate the answer sheet clockwise to make it upright and readable. I click the clockwise rotation button and I click again the clockwise rotation button. Now the answer sheet image is upright and it is readable. To enable the image to text button, I need first to save this rotated answer sheet. I click the save button. Now the image to text button is enabled. I click the image to text button to read the mark answers from the answer sheet. And we need to wait. As we can see, the OCR detected the answer sheet has 20 items. The OCR read the mark answers and interpreted into letter answers as shown on the right side. The OK status indicates that the OCR successfully read and recognized the mark answer of that item. The question mark status indicates that the OCR failed to read and recognize the mark answer of that item. Let us zoom in the answer sheet and examine the item number 4. The OCR missed the mark answer. All right. We can fix this problem by editing the answer of item number 4 in the data grid view. The supposed answer on item number 4 is letter D. We modify the fourth character 0 to letter D. The next step is to open the key answer file that I prepared on hand. I click the open key answers button, browse the folder where I stored the key answers, and then select this answer to num answer to that text text file. The key answer file is a text file containing the key answers of the test which is this file that I open up.
The key answers are listed on the rightmost side with column header keys. Let us check the answers. I click the check button and the result of the score is shown above. And it is 20 out of 20, a perfect score. Let us open another answer sheet. I click the open folder, browse the folder, is contest. This time I will select this file and then click the open button. As we can see, the answer sheet is upside down and we cannot read it. Let us rotate the answer sheet 180 degrees clockwise to make it upright and readable. Now that it is rotated upright and it is readable to enable the image to text button, I need first to save this rotated answer sheet. Now that the image to text button is enabled, I click the image to text button to read the mark answers from the answer sheet. The OCR detected that the answer sheet has 20 items. The OCR read the mark answers and interpreted into letter answers as shown on this right side. The OK status indicates that the OCR successfully read and recognized the mark answer of that item. The question mark status indicates that the OCR failed to read and recognize the mark answer of those items. Let us zoom in the answer sheet and examine the items numbers 5, 9, 14, 15, 16, and 17. The answer of item number 5 is letter E. And we need to fix later the problem. The answer of item number 9 is letter B. The answer of item number 14 is letter E. The answer of item number 15 is letter E. And the answer of item number 16 is letter E. And the answer of item number 17 is letter D. Let us fix these problems by editing the answers of those items in the data grid view. Item number 5, the answer of item number 5 is letter E. The answer of item number 9 is letter B. The answer of item number 14 is letter E. The answer of item number 15 is letter E. The answer of item number 16 is letter E. To fix the item number 17, we just edit the letter O to 0, which is this capital O, and then change it to 0. The next step is to open the key answer file that I prepared on hand. I click this open key answers button and then browse the folder where I stored the key answer and then select answer to that text file. The key answers are listed on the rightmost side with the column header keys. Let us check the answers. I click the check button. The result of the score shown above is 20 out of 20, a perfect score. Let us open another answer sheet. I browse the folder where I stored those scan answer sheet images.
Let us rotate the answer sheet 180 degrees clockwise to make it upright and readable. To enable the image to text button, I need first to save this rotated answer sheet. So I click the save button. Now that it is saved and the image to text button is enabled, I click the image to text button to read the mark answers from the answer sheet. The OCR detected that the answer sheet has 20 items. Let us zoom in the answer sheet and examine the mark answers. As we can see, the items number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 contain more than one mark answers which by the rule it is not counted or considered wrong answer if more than one mark answers. On the other hand, items number 17, 18, 19, and 20 have one mark answer. The item that has more than one mark answers must have a question mark status. The item that has one mark answer must have an OK status. Item number one question mark status is correct. Item number two status is wrong and we need to edit the answers. Item number two has two answers namely B and D. So we can edit item number two. Item number three, question mark status is correct. Item number four, status is wrong and we need to edit the answers. Item number four has two answers, A and B. So we edit the answer of item number four. Item numbers five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen are correct. They had a question mark status item number 14 status is wrong and we need to edit the answers item number 14 has three answers a c and e a c and e so we need to edit item number four answers a c and e item numbers 15 16 17 18 and 19 are correct. Item numbers 20 status is wrong and we need to edit the answer. The item number 20 has a answer of letter E. So we need to edit the answer. The next step is to open the key answer file that I prepared on hand. I browse the folder where I stored that key answer file. I open up answer2.txt. The key answers are listed on the rightmost side with column header keys. Let us check the answers. I click the check button. The result of the score is shown above and it is 0 out of 20. That ends our simple project for today. I hope you are inspired in my class. Thank you for watching. God bless us.